The first origins of Western astrology appeared in Mesopotamia in 2300 BC. It has traveled through Greece, Egypt, Western Europe, Italy, England, and America throughout history. The main principle of astrology is that internal events directly affect external events, which can be depicted in the phrase, as within, so without. Zodiac signs, houses, elements, qualities, and planets each play a role in the basic astrological system. Western astrology has evolved from 30,000 BC to 140 AD and remained unchanged to preserve its sacred quality. Vedic astrology is a variation of Western astrology that is more accurate at predicting the specific time of particular events. Astrology is important because it teaches the impact of internal events on external ones. The discovery of identity and forecasts has interested the masses since ancient times. Astrology will stand the test of time because it is a fun and entertaining technology. The basics of Western astrology involve 12 houses and 12 zodiac signs that impact both the personality and events in people's lives. The houses include categories like house of marriage and relationships, house of death, etc. The zodiac signs link Roman names to different symbols, people, or animals such as Aries the Ram, Taurus the Bull, Gemini the Twins, Cancer the Crab, Leo the Lion, Virgo the Virgin, Libra the Scales, Scorpio the Scorpion, Sagittarius the Archer, Capricorn the Goat, Aquarius the Water Bearer, and Pisces the Fish. Each of these signs fall under the element of fire, earth, air, and water. Aries is a fire sign. Taurus is an earth sign, Gemini is an air sign, Cancer is a water sign, and it continues in that order. Fire signs are energetic, extroverted, and impulsive. Earth signs are stable, conscientious, and stubborn. Air signs are adaptive, communicative, and aloof. Water signs are compassionate, intuitive, and moody. Fire signs are compatible with air signs, whereas water signs are compatible with earth signs. Fire and air signs have more masculine traits, while water and earth signs have more feminine traits. Polarities are signs that are opposite to each other on the birth chart. For instance, Leo is opposite to Aquarius, so Leo and Aquarius could either have an opposites attract effect or despise each other. The sun, moon, and rising signs represent a person's full personality. For example, a person could have an Aquarius sun sign, Cancer moon sign, and Scorpio rising sign, like me. The sun sign can be determined based on the day and month a person was born, because it depends on the placement of the sun at birth, represents a person's personality as a whole, and the type of person they will grow into as they age. The moon and rising sign must be calculated by knowing the exact time of birth, and they depend on the placement of the moon and where the sun was rising at the time of birth. The moon sign represents a person's inner personality, such as their feelings and emotions, the rising signs represent a person's outer personality, their appearance, and the type of person they grow out of as they age. The planets rule different areas of life, and the placement of each planet affects how a person will act or how their life will play out in a particular area. For instance, Mercury is ruled by communication, Venus is ruled by love, and Mars is ruled by war. A person with Gemini and Mercury may have a very debative style of communicating, or a person with Taurus and Venus may be very loving and caring. Saturn represents a person's life lesson, and Jupiter estimates a person's wealth and abundance. Western astrology is a technology that has lasted since ancient times because it explains a person's identity and gives forecasts of the unknown future. These topics have been interesting to the masses since the dawn of civilization. Astrology has progressed through the gradual addition of the zodiac wheel and astrological system in 700 BC. The modern names for planets and zodiac signs in 331 BC to 5th century AD. And finally, the core techniques of astrology such as zodiac signs, houses, planets, aspects, etc. in 140 AD. Astrology is an ancient system that has been fully formed since 140 AD. It has remained unchanged since it was fully evolved to preserve the sacred and ancient quality of the technology.